Good morning, everyone. It's Friday. It's always a good thing. So, like always, we're going to start the day off by bringing our trash can back in the garage. Came and picked up the trash uh, early in the morning. Don't know what time, but... Oh, boy. I am tired, man. Well, we're going to go bring the trash can into the garage. So it's not sitting outside. Hello, Bella. Good morning, Bella. Bella says, leave me alone. <laughs> oh, man. So I hope you all had a good week. Hope you all have an awesome weekend. And as you can see, we got rid of all the cardboard that was in here. Took that off along with the trash. So that's good. Garage looks a little bigger now, now that we don't have cardboard boxes laying all over the place. Let's go ahead and open this up. Give me a minute, we'll be back. All right, I've got the trash can in. I'm gonna take the broom, I'm gonna sweep up this garage floor a little bit. Whenever you open the garage door and the wind's blowing, you get uh, a couple leaves in here. So I'm gonna sweep this up real quick. It won't take too long. Be right back. All right, that's what we swept up. So I'm going to put that in the dustpan and toss it to the trash. I'm going to take the shop vac, see if I can vacuum up this mat. Uh, the broom is not cutting it. <laughs> uh, believe it or not, I have a video on my channel. If you go into the playlist, random projects and videos, you'll see a, a video called Garage Transformation. Now that was from 2018 where I redid the entire garage new fixtures, hooked the TV up, cleaned it up. It was so bad. And, and if you want to watch that video, you'll see for yourself. You could barely walk in here. You could hardly move around here. This garage was so cluttered and it was so disgusting and so bad. And I just, I redid the entire garage. It took me about three months. I recorded and documented the whole thing. So if you want to check that out, uh, look on my channel for a video called Garage Transformation. It's from 2018. Uh, once you, when you see how bad this garage used to be, you'll just shake your head. It was unbelievable. It was embarrassingly disgusting. So anyway, let me uh, let me get rid of this pile of leaves and dirt. Let me try to vacuum this welcome mat up. We'll be back. All right, our pile is gone. Vacuumed up the mat. Now I didn't get every little thing out. But it did very, very well. I like that shop vac. Now that shop vac is one my mom actually bought. It's a Craftsman. It can suck chrome off a hubcap. <laughs> this is the one I bought, and the brand was Shop Vac. And it blows. It sucks. It uh, it doesn't vacuum anything out. This pressure washer here, I bought it back in 2018 when I redid the garage have not used it at all. Not once. <laughs> oh man. So yeah, that's cleaned up. I actually don't mind cleaning the garage. Um, I like cleaning up the garage. I like being down here, which was not the case a few years ago. You hear me talking about my video, garage transformation. I did everything in my power not to come down here because it was just so Folks, words cannot describe how nasty and cluttered and packed this garage used to be. I encourage you to check that video out, man. Uh, the difference is night and day. Damn, that looks good, man. That looks real good. You can actually see, you can tell it says Carolina Panthers football now. <laughs> yeah, we're going to get out of the garage. Let's go up here. Oh man, I have some packages, I saw some, there's my Bella, hi Bella, hey pretty girl, what you doing, 
What you doing, baby Bella? What are you doing, silly cat? Hi. Hello, pretty girl. Come back, Bella. Oh, man. So I gotta make my bed. I had the sheets in the washer. I, haven't, I just haven't uh, put them back on the bed yet. They're kind of sitting on the floor right now. So I have some packages. I sold some stuff on eBay. Um, one of the packages would not fit in the drop-off box. It actually worked out because one of these has a first-class shipping label on it, which means I was able to schedule a package pickup, which means that the mailman is just going to come pick them up when he delivers the mail. Now, all this is going to fit my mailbox, so I'll leave it at the front door, and when he delivers the mail, he'll actually come pick them up, scan them, and that's that. They'll be on their way. Yes, sir. So let me put these outside. I'll be right back. Hey. All right, the packages are right at the front door. So when the mailman gets here, de delivers the mail, they'll take those packages, they'll scan them in, be tracked, and they'll be on the way. Put this bag back up. Oh, man. Now, unfortunately, Bella has tried numerous times, and I've caught her up here chewing on the statue. Bella, 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 what am I going to do with you? So, yeah. Yeah, you. Silly girl. Yeah, you. Yes, you, my silly cat. <laughs> yeah, I've caught her up here, and she's just going to town on Carnage, just trying to chew up his arm. She had her paws up on, on his arm, trying to get to his head. Lord have mercy. All right, man, let me get these shoes off, and we'll go, we'll go do something, man. I don't know. Hello, Bella. <laughs> All right, so we're going to clean out Bella's litter box. Do that every morning. I check it every night when I wake up. <coughs> Excuse me, man. <coughs> Out of a cough these last couple days. I got the old pooper scooper in the trash can with me. Man, I want. Uh, I want new carpet in this house so bad. Either new carpet or hardwood floors. Uh, this house was built in either 77 or 78. And when my parents bought it in 94, we found out that the guy who owned it did a lot of half-ass quick fixes. And one of them was this cheap carpeting that has ripped apart all over the place. See right there. Then you'll see down the hallway. Right here. Right here. And right there. And that's why I usually don't, I try not to film the floor and the carpet because it's, I'm embarrassed by it, man. Because it's, they did, it's such a rush job. You now, under the carpet, there's supposed to be some thick foam. There's not. There's this real thin piece of foam underneath the carpet, but only in some of the rooms. In some rooms, there's nothing under this carpet. It's the subfloor and then the carpet. That's it. Uh, we, we've been finding all kinds of stuff that they have done to, uh, just for a quick fix. Matter of fact, uh, this front door. This was not the front door that was on the house when we bought it. When we bought the house, the front door was pink. Like, not a strong pink, but kind of a peachy pink, if that makes sense. I told my mom to pick out a front door a couple years ago, and I'd buy one, and this is what she picked out. When they took the old door off, folks, it took them about four or five hours to put this one in because when they took the old door off, apparently there were nails sticking out everywhere along the frame here, I guess the frame or the molding, and uh, the guys that put in the door, they're saying whoever put in that front door had no clue what they were doing, so they had to go and fix what the other guys screwed up before they could put this one in. And it's a shame, man. Uh, these walls did not used to be white. 
They had wallpaper all down the hallway. These walls here, we had to peel all the wallpaper off. Um, I want to say that the walls in the kitchen had wallpaper as well, but I'm not 100% sure on the kitchen, but yeah. This all used to be this ugly wallpaper. It was white with like gold stripes and oh god, it was horrible. But I mean, I like the house. It's just, like I said, it, it's, man, it's over 40 years old. And, and the people who had it before say just half-assed a bunch of quick fixes to get the house sold. And now we're finding all this stuff. Hey, Bella. I gotta dust this TV stand off and give it to one of my co-workers. I have to load it in the back of the truck. I'll have it nice and shining before I bring it to him though, of course. That is actually the stand for my TV that's on the wall. I'm keeping that just in case because you never know, man. And you see I sold a few books on eBay. We're making a little bit of room on the bookshelf here. And down here you'll see the seventh scroll, which I was reading in the bathroom last week and the week before, I finished that. That was book number two in Wilbur Smith's Egypt series. Finished it last Sunday. I went ahead and ordered the next three books in the series, but they won't be here till Sunday, so <clears throat> looking forward to that. Making some room on the DVD shelf. I sold Dragon Ball GT, of course you saw I sold Airwolf, I sold my seasons one through four of Once Upon a Time. Right now I've got Grimm up there. I've got uh, I've got a couple DVDs up there. Anyway, let me clean out Bella's litter box. She's looking at me like, man, shut up and clean my stuff. So let me do that and I'll be back. All right, Queen Bella's litter box has been cleaned out. She immediately ran to the kitchen and threw a fit for me to give her her treats to celebrate. <laughs> So, me being me, of course, I spoiled her. I gave in. I gave her the treats. I can't tell that cat no. <laughs> but yeah, um, man. So last week, I said I was, I, I'm constantly on search for, you know, other, other uh, income sources. Hold this camera up, man. It was so heavy after a while. So I've been selling on eBay just stuff I have around the house that I don't, haven't touched in years, that I don't plan on using. I'm doing all right with that. Uh, definitely not enough to make a living, but it's definitely helping out. Um, all the jobs that I have applied for around here the past couple months, I haven't gotten a single call back, which is discouraging. And I keep joking with my friend. I said, man, maybe they see I'm 40 years old and think I'm too old. Because <laughs> I know a lot of the places around here are going with a youth movement. And I can't speak for anywhere else. Because I don't know how the young people are anywhere else, but I know the ones in town here are sorry and as lazy as can be because we're seeing them at my job now. They're hiring them at my job now, and they're a waste of a paycheck. They don't work. They walk around all night crying and complaining because they have to work while they're at work. Oh, my arm is getting sore. <laughs> and it's ridiculous. So, um, haven't got a call back from anything. I did see a posting for a job as a deckhand on carnival cruises and I'm seriously seriously putting thought into it I'm actually you know doing some research on on that according to this post and you can make anywhere from a thousand to fourteen hundred dollars a week and it's a 28 week job so a thousand dollars a week twenty eight thousand dollars for 28 weeks that's seven months of work you'll make twenty eight thousand dollars of course i'd be gone the whole time but it says that they pay for your room board and your food while you're on the ship so i mean that's a good chance that all that money is going into my pocket since i don't have to pay for any of that myself unless i want something extra so i'm seriously considering that man because the job search like the places around here are just they, they say they're hiring, but they won't call, man. Uh, they're, they're going with youth. They're doing the youth movement. And uh, unfortunately, I'm no spring chicken, but uh, I'm a damn good worker, and it's a shame. You know, they're lost. So actually, uh, I, I'd, I, I've been looking for something for a while. I did my taxes a few days ago, and I looked to see what I earned last year. I work overnight at Walmart, for those who don't know. It was pitiful, man. I made just a little over $15,000 all of last year. 
Think about that, folks. Working a full-time job, only making a little over $15,000 for the entire year. That's ridiculous, man. That is that's ridiculous. Now, granted, I was on leave of absence for three months when my mom had her uh, knee replacement surgery to take care of her. That was a non-paid leave, but still, I should have made more than $15,000 even being out three months. $15,000, that's part-time money, man. So yeah, uh, I've been I've been watching videos and researching like side hustles and other uh, sources of income. Like I said, I'm doing eBay now. I'm gonna try this Etsy store print on demand. Um, I know it's not gonna make a whole bunch of money right away. Might not make any money at all, but I'm gonna give it a shot. I'll try that. Uh, not giving up on the job search, but man. Um, Stop going with the youth movement, man. There are older people that will work for you, and they're damn good at what they do. <laughs> so anyway, let me turn this camera around. I think I'm gonna watch some, <clears throat> man, voice is cracking. I'm gonna watch some home improvement right now. I'm not gonna make breakfast right this minute. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry, y'all. <clears throat> man. I complained about coughing and throat clearing last week. Now here I am doing the same thing. Boy, she'll get a kick out of that. <laughs> Hi, Mom. So we're going to watch some Home Improvement. I actually finished Season 5 yesterday. So we're on Season 6 out of 8 for Home Improvement. Uh, it's going to be kind of depressing when it's over, man, because I do not know what to watch afterwards. I'm a huge Tim Allen fan, but... His other show, Last Man Standing, I, I didn't like that one. So I, I was going to watch that one next, but I don't really like that one. <clears throat> so I don't know what we're going to watch when we're done here. So here we go. Season 6, Episode 1. So I might watch an episode or two and then cook some breakfast. There we go. Debbie Dunning, man. I had a huge crush. I still have a crush on Debbie Dunning, man. She look at her. She's beautiful. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, uh, let me watch some home improvement, and we'll be back later on. All right. So it is 9:25 a.m. I'm gonna cook some breakfast. I think I just want some scrambled eggs with cheese, wrapped up with some uh, tortillas. Something, something simple, something pretty quick. So let's get our pan out. Put it on the magic number, number five. And we'll let that heat up while we're getting everything ready. So it was brought to my attention that now last week we made eggs in a basket. They're also known as toad in a hole. <laughs> so I think from now on, I'll call them toad in a hole. Well, we got most of it. <laughs> All right. Um, let's get our plate. Man, was this the wallpaper that used to be here in the kitchen? I'm not sure. Cause I know. I think there was wallpaper. I think all this used to be wallpaper, but I don't know if it was this wallpaper or not. That wallpaper is horrible. Pure 70s. <laughs> and then uh, the linoleum floors are all like this right here. All scratched up. This right here is just a big chunk of it. Uh, yeah, like I said, man, the house was built in the 70s and people for us did a quick fix it so I need that that's really why I haven't done a tour of the whole house because I don't know man it just needs a lot of work uh, that's yeah that should be enough uh, yeah that should be good so really all we need for this is butter to melt in the pan eggs and cheese in our tortillas 
So that's pretty much all this. Yeah, real simple. So let me get this bowl out here. We'll mix our eggs up. This this Tupperware bowl might be older than the house. <laughs> it's been through some stuff, man. All right, well, let me get these eggs mixed up, and I'll be back. All right. Eggs mixed up. Got the butter melting. This won't take too long at all, man. We'll just put in eggs and cheese. That's it. Super simple, but good eating. Hi, Bella. Hey, pretty girl. <laughs> all right, give me a minute. I'll add the cheese and we'll be back. Okay, we've added our cheese. Uh, we need to go out the deep freeze and get another bag of cheese out because that was the only one I had in the house. Let's go out here. Man, that, that, that mat looks good. <laughs> that looks so good now that it's been vacuumed. Oh, man. So our second fridge over here is full of hors d'oeuvres. Yes, sir. All right, let's bring this cheese in the house. We'll stick it in the fridge. It'll be thawed out for whenever we need to use it. And that is homemade chicken noodle soup. And hey, folks, let me tell you something, it is good. All right, let me get these eggs cooked and we'll be back. All right, the eggs are done. So, all we have to do is put some in a tortilla and we'll be good to go. So give me a few minutes and we'll be back. And there we go. Now, it doesn't look like much, but that is good eating right there. All right, we've got our two breakfast burritos here. I think we're going to make a glass of nice cold chocolate milk. So, of course, we're going to use the big boy glass. Yes, sir. Big boy glass. All right, I will be back. All right, let's take our breakfast out in the front room. All right, got our chocolate milk, we've got our paper towels here. I use paper towels instead of napkins because napkins are just so thin and they just rip apart so easily. I can't stand them, man. <laughs> Take our breakfast burritos out there and turn off the light. And look at this. This is where our landline phone used to be. Look at that old radio shack. And you see the line coming in. And when you open this up, there you go. In the days of dial-up internet, we had the line coming from here. As you can see, all the way down, it went across where there's actually no more carpet. And went into the PC. So, yeah. Alright, well, I'm going to eat dinner. Or dinner, good lord. I'm going to eat breakfast. Watch another episode of Home Improvement. Oh man, probably charge a camera that says it only has 16 minutes left. So I'll be back later on. So 
I just got an email from the postal service that said a package pickup was made but the number of packages that I put was not the amount they picked up. Only thing about that is how could they do a package pickup when the mailman hasn't even come by yet? <laughs> packages are still right at the front door and the mailman hasn't been by yet so uh, these might be late. Or they could have sent me this email in error. They've sent me these emails before. Uh, they sent me emails where they said they attempted to pick up, but there were no packages there when they actually did pick them up. So I'm hoping it was sent by mistake, man. If not, these are going to be a day late going out, and I don't know, man. So uh, we'll keep an eye on that situation. Hopefully it was just a mistake, man. Because like I said, the mailman hasn't even come through yet. All right, so it's 12.30 p.m. Uh, the mailman did show up and picked up the packages, so all is well. Packages are on their way. They're going to be on time. I'm happy. So, while I was waiting for the mailman, I actually sold four more things. So they'll be going out tomorrow morning, along with anything else I may potentially sell today. So, yeah, it's 12.30 p.m., man. I'm tired. I'm going to go to bed. But first, I have one more thing to do. Hi, Bella. Hi. Hello. There's my pretty girl. Yeah. It's almost nap time, Bella. Oh, man. I have to do the part that I don't like about cooking. I've got to clean or wash the dishes from this morning. I put it off long enough, let them soak in the sink. So yeah, gonna wash these dishes. I'm gonna go to bed. I will see you all when I wake up. Now that's what I like to see, an empty sink. All right, the dishes are done. It only took about eight minutes. Well, maybe a little less than that. It's time for bed, man. I'm tired, so I wanna get some sleep. You know, it's Friday, so tonight means 8 o'clock, we watch SWAT, 9 o'clock, Fire Country's on. You know, last week I didn't make it to Fire Country, I went right to bed. But this week's going to be different, man. I'm going to go to bed, I'm going to get some sleep. I said bed, all country-like. Hi! You ready for a nap? Oh, look at you. Hey, pretty girl. You ready for a nap? You ready for a nap, Bella? Yeah? You're very talkative. Yes, you are. Are you ready for a nap, pretty girl? Yeah? Aw, look at you. <laughs> big baby. You big baby. You're my good girl. Yes, you are. <laughs> Hi, Bella. Hi, Bella. Hey, pretty girl. Bella, you're a superstar. Yeah. The people who watch these videos watch for you. It's because you're awesome. Yes, you are. Alright, y'all. I'm going to go to bed. Uh, I'm going to try to convince Bella to let me go. <laughs> now, don't bite. Now, don't bite. Bella, don't bite. Biting's not nice. All right, <laughs> we'll try to get out of here with my leg in one piece. I'll see you all later tonight when I wake up. All right, everyone, it is 6.50 p.m. I got a little bit of sleep, not too much. Um, fortunately, the neuropathy flared up, which kind of ticks me off because this is the first time the entire week that it's flared up. Excuse me. I went the entire week no issues with the neuropathy and then it flares up today so I, I slept for about two hours and the rest of the time I was just laying in the bed trying to fall asleep so it is what it is anyway uh, before I get dinner I think I'm gonna hop on World of Warcraft real quick and check a few things so let's go do that alright here we are looks like I might have made some money on the auction house just a tiny little bit I also improved my item level. 
I can't remember what I was last week, but I'll show you where I am this week. So first of all, my new item level, 376. So that's awesome. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let me check the mail. I think I made a couple gold on the auction house, not a whole lot. No, I didn't make anything, no one bought my stuff. Damn it. I right, will check the world quest here, see if there's any worth doing. That's for PvP. Eh, same old crap. What is this? So yeah, man. Um. So weird. I wish I had a group of friends that I could run dungeons and raids with up here, but I don't know a whole lot of people. Returned. It's like right there. I could have flown. The yeah, I don't know a whole lot of people to to do dungeons and raids with, and it sucks, man. Um, I only know two people to play this game. That's it. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna. What is this quest anyway? Find Zutiki. All right. Let's find Zutiki real quick. Oh, that was easy. We serve order. Farewell. The keepers gave us thought. Stay within order. All right, so I'm gonna work on these quests for a little while, and uh, about 7:50, we'll go out there and get dinner and watch SWAT and Fire Country. All right, so it is 7:44 p.m. Got off World of Warcraft, did a couple things up there. Now it's time for dinner, so let's go out in the kitchen. Let's go out to the kitchen. All right, I won't say anymore, I promise. <laughs> so let's go out here, it's Friday night. You know our Friday night tradition if you've been watching these vlogs. Let's turn on the light here. Man, man. There we go. I can get a hold on it. <laughs> Got the Big Mac. We have a milkshake this week. We do. Awesome. Alright, give me a minute. Uh, I got something on the camera here, but anyway, we're gonna put this in the microwave and heat it up. And I got this in the mail. My driver's license expires this June, so I have to get that renewed, which means going to the DMV. Ugh. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to cook dinner. I'm going to heat this up and wait for SWAT to come on. Alright everyone, it is 11.39 p.m. I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> I didn't get a lot of sleep earlier. Um, I'm exhausted right now. I keep dozing off, can't keep my eyes open. So I'm going to go to bed and hopefully actually get some sleep this time. So good night, sweet dreams. See you all in the morning. Oh man, good morning. It is... 8.46 a.m. I slept the entire time. I feel great. 
finally, finally got some sleep. Um, man, I must have been more tired than I realized. Uh, what is that, nine hours? So anyway, yeah, 8.46 a.m. First thing I'm going to do is hop in the shower. I'm not going to film that. Apologies. But yeah, uh, it's going to be a good day. So I'm going to take a shower. I'll be back. morning had a notification that I sold two more things on eBay so we're gonna go get those up now get them all packed up so I sold a book and a movie and the book I sold was Drew McIntyre's book right here sold this book and as you can see slowly but surely making some room on the bookshelves Slowly but surely, making room on the DVD shelf. I just put up all 10 seasons of Beverly Hills 90210 for sale on eBay. I love that show, but man, I don't know. I don't see myself watching those DVDs. I'll probably just watch it streaming. I don't know, it's weird. Like, horror movies, I'll keep physical copies of, but TV shows, I, I'm just trying to sell them all. <laughs> it's weird. All right, so we sold the Drew McIntyre book and we sold the Runny Man on Blu-ray. This actually just got a 4K release a little while ago. So eventually I'll upgrade to 4K. So I'm gonna print out the shipping labels, pack those up, get them ready to go. Uh, mailman picked up four more packages this morning, so those are on their way. I'm sorry, I woke you up. I'm sorry, Bella. Bella says, Daggone it, boy, shut up. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby Bella. All right, well, let me get this taken care of, and we'll be back. So there we go. Movie and the book are packaged up. Now, the mail service is already run today. They don't run on Sundays, so it'll be Monday morning when I send these out. So Monday morning after I get off work, I'll go to the Postal Service Dropbox, drop these off, and they'll be on their way. And I uh, noticed yesterday, we got some paint chipping off on this piece right here. Bella was chewing on it. Matter of fact, there's some indentations of her teeth in there. Guess you, the monster. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I have to watch Bella when she jumps up here. Because the first, th first thing she does is she goes after poor Carnage here. So I'm going to put those in my... My trusty handy dandy Walmart bag and like I said Monday morning when I get off work before I come home I'll stop by the Postal Service drop box get these packages on their way so I've decided to put that pair of Adidas up on eBay for sale I haven't worn these in like two or three years man so I'll clean these up Put them on sale. They're size 13. They're not torn up or anything. I just need to clean them up. And yeah, these will these will be on my eBay store shortly. Like I said, just got to clean them up. They'll be good to go. I mean, there's no point in keeping them if I'm not going to wear them. Close this. I'm actually pretty bored right now. <laughs> I'm desperately trying to find something to do. Look at Bella. Look at baby Bella. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna find something to do and we'll be back. All right, so I decided to hop on some World of Warcraft real quick. This is sacred land. 
Where will the wind take you? Good luck. Look at that. Got another mount. <laughs> Stay sharp. Off with you then. Another one for the collection. So let's see what it looks like here. Look at that. Oh shit, come here. Come here. I don't even know what this is. I just saw it was a rare, so I'm gonna kill it. Got nothing from it. <laughs> nothing. But we got a new mount, so that was cool. Uh, yeah, always good to add another mount to the collection. All right, so I'm gonna watch some YouTube for a little bit. Get caught up on my subscriptions here. Let's cut on the TV. Aw, look at the baby. Look at that little cat. <laughs> Baby Bella. Oh, man. Let's see. Oh, there's one. The 1983 Mattel toy catalog. Hell yeah. Alright, so let me, this will be the first one we watch. I'm sure we got other ones to look at too. So I'm going to turn the camera off. I don't want to get a copyright claim. <laughs> I don't think he'd copyright claim me. Would you, brother? Alright, we just finished the 1983 Mattel toy catalog video. Let's see what else we got. <laughs> but sure <yours> mask. <laughs> uh JN Custom. Yeah, watch that one. Watch that one. I think we're caught up. Yeah, I think we're caught up. Yeah, all right. So that's that. Hi, Bella. I clean up your eyes. You wait too long to clean up your eyes, pretty girl. <laughs> all right, so I'm just gonna go up here. I'm I'm going to browse through YouTube, see if I can find something interesting to watch. I'll be back later on. Alright, so it's a little after 4 o'clock. I think I'm going to go out front, watch some home improvement. Now, the game is on, but it's the Jaguars and Chiefs, and I'm just really not interested in seeing that. I'll be honest with you, I haven't watched a whole lot of football this year. I'm, I'm kind of losing interest in it. Kind of losing interest in sports altogether, man. Um... But that's uh that's a whole video unto itself. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna go out front and watch some home improvement. There we see the baby. <laughs> She's getting plenty of sleep tonight. Oh man. So yeah, I'm I'm I find myself losing interest in sports. I think I've watched a few games this year, and that's it, where I used to watch every single Sunday. But now, it's just, no, whatever. I'd rather watch old shows that I used to watch when I was younger, like Home Improvement, which is my, Home Improvement is my favorite sitcom of all time. To me, that was the best sitcom of all time. That was back when sitcoms were actually funny. 
Sitcoms are not funny to me anymore. Uh, oh, good lord, excuse me. That one kind of snuck out on me. <coughs> but yeah, I just... I don't know, man. Sitcoms just, just aren't funny to me anymore. It, it's just... I watch them and I'm like, man, this is... This is lame. This is stupid. Guess I should put it on the right input. That might help. <laughs> All right. Oh man, I can't believe it's almost almost nighttime. Back to work tomorrow, and oh god. I already talked about my how much money I I made, not in a good way all last year at work so I mean yeah, it's just, uh, I think I'm on episode three I'm not sure let's see uh, yeah I am okay all right so I'm gonna watch a little bit of home improvement I'll be back later probably when I decide what I'm gonna do for dinner all right so i'm gonna make some dinner now decided to keep it real simple just have some more nerves so we've got pigs in a blanket bacon cheddar potato skins and mozzarella sticks so that's gonna be dinner first thing i'm gonna cook be these uh, pigs in a blanket so let's get those on a tray and we'll put them in the oven all right so we got the pigs in a blanket ready to go we're gonna cook these at 400 degrees for 21 minutes all right those are cooking and just got an email sold two more things on eBay so I'll go pick those out so we can pack them up later on tonight and they'll be sent out Monday morning. So the first thing we sold, <laughs> and I actually didn't think this was gonna sell. I gotta find it. Oh, where is it? There it is. Oh no. Vanilla Ice. The unauthorized biography. <laughs> Hip-hop's hottest new star. Fabulous photos. Uh, yeah. The author of this is extremely lame. Because I was reading it and she keeps trying to use slang, trying to be cool, and it, it just didn't work. Hello, Bella. So we'll put the, uh, matter of fact, let's put it up here. Out of the way. And the second thing we sold... was Moana on Blu-ray. So after dinner, we'll pack those up. Hey, pretty girl. There's my good girl. Did you have a good nap? Love you, Bella. Yeah, so after dinner, we'll pack those up and we'll get them ready to be shipped off Monday morning. So while the pigs in the blanket are cooking, uh, let me turn off that kitchen light. So while they're cooking, we're going to continue with home improvement. I'm on episode... Uh, episode 5 now of season 6. Alright, pigs in the blanket are done. Heated the oven up to 450 degrees and next up are the mozzarella sticks we'll cook these for about 13 minutes okay the mozzarella sticks are done yeah i just put the potato skins in we're going to cook those for 18 minutes 450 degrees so i'm gonna go ahead and get some of these pigs and blankets and mozzarella sticks i'm gonna start eating and there is the baked potatoes or the potato skins excuse me the only thing that sucks about the potato skins, that box, there's only five of them in there. So if you're looking to feed a whole bunch of people, you're going to need a lot more. But that's it. That is dinner. Alright, dinner's done. Uh, 
I can tell I'm gonna have to take a massive dump later on. So yeah, there's a fresh dookie brew and I feel it. So now that dinner's done, I'm gonna go pack up the vanilla ice book and Moana so they can be sent off Monday morning. Let's head back to the room. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we'll just get these packed up and as I said before, Monday morning, when I get off work before I go home, I'll stop in the mall parking lot, put these in the postal service drop box, and they will be on their way. So let's go in here, let's get our bubble mailers. Oh man, I think I need to order some more bubble mailers. I got a 25 pack and I'm down to five. <laughs> I'm actually surprised I've sold that much stuff that quick. Um, That's a good thing. I'm not complaining at all. All right, so I'm going to get these wrapped up. We'll be back. All right, so the packages are packed up. Labels are on them. Go we'll put them in our bag there, and they will be sent out Monday morning. I didn't think I'd be able to sell that vanilla ice book, honestly. I didn't think anyone would be interested in them, but we did. Ice, ice, baby, to go, to go. All right, I won't ever do that again, I promise. All right, put those in the bag. They'll be sent out Monday morning. I'm so embarrassed right now. All right, so <laughs> I keep reading about this show called Wednesday. About Wednesday Adams from the Adams Family. Um, I've never watched it. I keep reading that there's a dance scene, and apparently the dance has gone viral. Now, when I, whenever I hear something has gone viral, in my opinion, it's usually something incredibly stupid. So this, apparently, people are absolutely losing their minds over this dance, and you have people mimicking the dance, doing their own videos of it, and apparently the TikTok attention whores, you know, the, the girls that you know shake their ass on TikTok because they're desperate for attention they're doing their own version so let me let me check out this dance let me see this dance that everyone is losing their minds over Ugh. well the uh <laughs> when i said things that go viral are usually really stupid uh that was the same with this dance that dance was one of the dumbest things I've ever seen in my life, and I'm, while I'm watching it, the only thought that's going through my mind is, this is what people are losing their minds over, seriously? I know a lot of people won't agree with that, but that's my opinion. I mean, it was just one of the dumbest things I've ever seen, and people are literally losing their minds over it, and it just... I don't know, man. I don't get it. I don't get it. All right, and just in case you were wondering, yes, I did wash the dishes from dinner. <laughs> nice empty sink. The dishes have been washed. Bella just got her treats, so she's happy. I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna get on the PC for a while. So earlier in the vlog, I said I was you know, gonna set up a little Etsy store, print on demand. I'm not going to do that now because I didn't realize that uh, <laughs> Etsy charges you a fee to have a store on their site, and I'm not doing that. I'm not paying a fee to have a store. And then there was some other stuff you had to pay for as well, and I'm not doing that. I'd be losing money. Uh, so that's out, so I'm going to have to find some other ways to make some extra money, some extra sources of income. It's hard, man. It's, it's hard, and it's kind of frustrating, too, because... Let me sit down. Is this... I, I get nervous on this bed now. I keep thinking, this is the day it's going to fall. It's going to collapse. Hey, Bella. But yeah, it's kind of frustrating trying to find other sources of income, man. Uh... I'm selling on eBay, but I don't have, you know, big ticket items. What? Wow. 
but I'm still making money up there so I'm not complaining um, as I said the job search is going nowhere so yeah uh, it, it's hard and it's frustrating find, trying to find other sources of income <laughs> sweet little cat but no I'm gonna keep at it man I'm gonna keep at it so something's got to give man something has got to give oh this camera turn. all right everyone so was out front watching more home improvement got a notification sold something else on ebay so let's get that down we sold rawhead rex on blu-ray Now, Rawhead Rex has a 4K release, but I don't think I'll be yet, and I just really wasn't into this movie. But someone bought it, and I hope they'll enjoy it. So I'll get this packed up, and it'll be shipped out Monday morning. Alright, everyone. It is a little after midnight. It's about 12.05. It's time for Recliner Reflections. <laughs> Now this week on Recliner Reflections, I'm going to tell you a little story. I'm going to tell you the story of how the true superstar of this channel, Bella, came to live with us. So, to begin with, Bella is, Bella was, is a rescue kitten. She was a rescue cat. Um, my mom went to work, and her and her co-workers heard crying coming from some bushes in the parking lot and when I say crying I mean cat you know how cats when they're distressed or they're upset when they meow it's kind of like a crying you know like that, that so they heard some crying coming from the bushes in the parking lot and they went over to check it out and there was a little kitten in there Bella um, turns out both of her eyes were stuck shut. Uh, she had an eye. She had an infection in both of her eyes. Could not open her eyes. There was like gunk all over them. They were stuck shut, and she was terrified. So they took her to the vet. They gave us some eye medicine. Found out that little baby Bella was only 11 weeks old. So someone dumped her in the bushes at 11 weeks old because they didn't want to take care of her because her eyes were infected. <clears throat> and in all honesty, that pisses me off. I'm not a violent person, but I have no problem punching animal abusers in the face repeatedly. I would have no problem with that at all. Um, if you abuse animals, you truly are a piece of shit. Excuse my language. So anyway, brought Bella home. And I actually have a picture of the first night Bella was here in her little carrying kennel. She was scared to death. So I brought her home. The medicine that they gave her allowed her to open her eyes. Um, cleared out the gunk. So, uh, she would not come out of that little carrying kennel. It took her quite a few hours before she ventured out. But she, she was in the carrying kennel. She just stayed in there. You know, so I sat down next to it. I was talking to her, telling her it was okay. Excuse me, after a few hours, it was later, it was about 8.30, 9 o'clock that night, little baby Bella finally came out of the kennel, and you gotta, you gotta remember, she's 11 weeks old, she could fit in the palm of my hand, she crawled on my arm, and went to sleep. <laughs> the poor thing was so exhausted, so I sat there on the floor, like this, with Bella laying in my arm, sleeping. So when I was ready for bed, you know, I didn't want to, I wanted to keep her on the bed with me, you know, just to make sure she, she didn't get into anything and make sure she was okay. So I went to actually pick her up and she starts screaming. I mean, just me, like, it didn't even sound like meowing. It was like screaming just as loud as she could. She was terrified. She was scared to death of being picked up and she was squirming and screaming trying to get away so I brought her in the room as quick as I could I put her down on the bed and she ran to the corner of the bed and she just laid there would not come near me 
and I was trying to pet her and she would back up from me but after a while you know I had laid down next to her I was telling her it was okay it was time for bed after a while she she calmed down and I had a little blanket set up next to the pillow she crawled on the blanket went to sleep the next morning she wakes me up meowing um, her eyes are stuck shut again so we had to give her her medicine so she could open her eyes the good thing was we only gave her that medicine twice and it completely cleared the infection out so she was able to open her eyes but to this day you know her, the gunk builds up on her eyes she will not clean her eyes right away she waits and waits and waits I just had to wipe her eyes off earlier because it was getting on my nerves <laughs> but yeah the first night she came home uh, I had brought her on the bed and then for about a month or two and when it was time to go to bed I said Bella let's go to bed she'd come in here she'd hop on an ottoman her little behind will hop on the bed and she sleep on the bed with me until she got brave and decided that she was going to go sleep in other places but yeah um, Bella she was rescued from the parking lot at my mom's job because someone just dumped her there at 11 weeks old <laughs> and when she got here she was absolutely terrified every time you'd pick her up she'd scream but now, when you pick her up, oh, she situates herself. She gets nice and comfortable. She starts purring. She loves being held now. She likes for you to pick her up and take her to the door. And you know, the door frame, for some reason, she likes you to hold her at the door frame while she wraps her paws around it and hugs it. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, the point is, she she's no longer terrified of being held. She loves to be held. Um, she was she, she's basically the queen of the house she's spoiled rotten as she knows it um, basically she can get away with whatever she wants with me she, can, she can't get in trouble with me <laughs> uh, she picked up a lot of tigers habits too she knows when it's time to get her treats she will come let you know and if you're sleeping she will wake you up <laughs> uh, what else man uh, she yeah it, it's night and day from the way she was her first night here to now. Oh, goodness. I will say this though, uh, she is still scared of people. Uh, the only people that she will be around are myself and my mom. If anyone else comes over, she runs in my room and she hides either under the bed or under my blanket. She does she does not trust people. She does. She is scared to death of other people besides me and my mother. <laughs> We're the only two people that she will actually come out and be around. And as you see, she sleeps in my lap. But anyone else, she runs and hides in my room until they leave. If she hears a car door outside, and it's... See, it's funny because she knows when mom gets home from work. She knows when I get home from work. If, there's a, if she hears a car door... And we're already home or if it's not at the time that one of us gets home from work she'll stare at the front door start growling and then run and hide and she'll growl as she's running away she's like Rrr. it's hilarious like big bad Bella growling as she's running to her hiding spot but she's a sweet cat man I kind of feel like it was meant to be for her to be here seeing how much she's improved um, and then we bred. when my mom found her it was a few months after shadow passed away so i don't know man i think everything worked out bella's in a loving home now she's spoiled rotten doing much better <laughs> still doesn't trust anyone but the two of us but that's fine i mean she's all mine <laughs> but yeah bella is doing a lot better i actually recorded a video a few weeks after we got bella and it's called it's under my random projects and videos playlist it's called the newest member of the family and you will see little baby Bella on the thumbnail so yeah <laughs> that's a story of how Bella came to live with us and uh, yeah glad to have her she is uh, she is definitely definitely uh, <laughs> she's a character man you've all seen it and she is a big baby too. She loves her attention. Oh man. 
So anyway, um, it is 12.14 a.m. This is going to absolutely ruin my sleeping for tomorrow. Because I have to work tomorrow night and I'm going to be screwed if I go to bed now. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to edit all this footage. I'm going to try to put the video together tonight if I don't fall asleep. That's going to do it for this week's weekly vlog, man. So, as you can see, um, I've said it before, I'm a boring dude. I like to stay at home, relax, do things around the house, play with Bella. Jesus, excuse me. The uh, dinner's coming back up. Uh, one, of these, one of these weeks I'll do something exciting, man. But I'm just a normal guy. <laughs> So anyway, that's going to do it for this week. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, I always enjoy doing these things. So that'll do it. I will see you next week for the next weekly vlog. So I hope y'all have a good weekend. Hope y'all have a good week. Y'all take care.